uh, diving for the first time in 64 years, which is the same age as me, by the way. Oh, yeah, the same age yeah. As, yeah. as you, eh? Yeah, absolutely. 1960, yeah, that's when I was born, and, and that's when, I, when they last won a, um, uh, a medal in that women's synchronized event. I'd anyway, have to say that uh, 1960, wait a minute, 1960 was an excellent year to be born. It, the, the only year that would probably be better than that would be uh, 19... 50, and then you would have been a teenager when the Beatles uh, came to uh, prominence, and wouldn't that? Uh, how, how exciting would that have been? It was almost like the world turned into colour from black and white. But 1960s, we, we got a lot. We were teenagers in the 1970s. We had um, mm. the glam, Correct. glam rock with the uh, Sweet and yeah. the Vets and all that the exciting stuff. Uh, uh, David Bowie and, um, da and yeah. uh, Mark Boland uh, came along, and then. Uh, so we Absolutely. Had, we had, um, you know, uh, and then we had classic rock, of course, uh, disco yeah. and hip hop and, yeah, and the dance. And you said it. The dance um, revolution, and we lived through it a lot uh, at the perfect age, Isaac. Absolutely, yeah. I was a, uh, I was a disco funky boy, struck house music as well. Anyway, yeah, going metal. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we, uh, yeah, so. Uh, France won gold in the rugby sevens. Well, now, wait a minute. You, okay. have, you haven't told us what we won the other medal in. Oh, um, uh, oh, God, I've uh, forgotten. I've I forgotten. bet. I've, uh, I've, uh, let me guess. Something to do with cycling. Oh, probably, yeah. Oh, probably. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There you go. Completely correct in every respect. Cycling. <laughs> you, know, you know, we, our Olympic um, committee, they cynically chose cycling to concentrate all the money on because that's where most of the medals are. I mean, that's where they, they that that's the event that hands out the most medals. I think cycling. Yes, I can I can believe which that is I why we are preeminent in that sport is because we concentrated mm. on it in order to um, increase our medals all. And to finish off quickly on the um, Olympic Olympic topic, yeah. um, Spain uh, beat Argentina in the uh, men's doubles with Rafael Nadal. Was it Rafael Nadal and uh, an Alcatraz? So there you go. Um, the Alca the Alca guy, you know, the guy who <coughs> runs Wimbledon. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Tennis yeah. should not be an Olympic sport. That's just plain silly. Okay. Okay, number f topic three, moving on quickly. Um, right, uh, getting back to UK politics, I just want to say, and I'll repeat it again, because I know it upsets a lot of um, uh, listeners, you know. Yeah, all the right uh, people. Uh, uh, all the right people, that's right. The adults are back in the room. Mm -hmm. We have got grown-up politics. That's it's amazing. Like, it's it's, I've forgotten what it sounds it's, like. Absolutely, it's it's like it's like a church-like experience at the moment. <laughs> Our politics it is so calming. You know? Yeah, it's, that's so, exactly um, right. It's so calming. You don't, you don't feel like you're being gaslighted. You don't feel like you're being lied to. You don't feel um, like people are talking at you through the camera, and they know that every single thing they're telling you is not true. It's as though we're, we're being. It, it, it's, it's like a light has been shined 